Your conditioning, though, is still next level. So like, let, let's get granular with this. What does your workout and your diet look like? You can explain granular to me. I'll gladly, <laughs> I'll gladly tell you about my workouts. Let's get nitty gritty about it. Come on, you speak five languages. I do, I Which do, language I do should not, I say it in? I do not speak granular, though. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I just think I work out normally. I mean, there's nothing, nothing that's special about I it. I think normal for um, you might be very so, different from other um, people. When I first started, I just did, like, bodybuilding and that kind of stuff. And then when I first went to FCW, we trained with a guy named Rob, Rob McIntyre. He's seen us, um, personal trainer, and we were lucky enough to uh, train in his gym. And he introduced me to uh, weightlifting, like Olympic weightlifting, which I absolutely love and have been doing ever since because I think it's the ultimate exercises for your whole body, for strength, explosivity, all that stuff that I cannot pronounce. Um, <laughs> it's granular. <laughs> granular, yeah. yeah. All, all that granular <laughs> stuff. And then um, uh, I recently started introducing some, like, I always liked functional exercises and body weight stuff. And then I started doing more CrossFit, um, thanks to Seth Wallens, who's a huge CrossFit nerd. Um, so that has been kind of, my workout ever since and same with wrestling I feel with working out the key is consistency right you need to consistently work out and whenever people ask me like okay what is your advice working out what is your advice getting into working out it's just find something that you like because yeah. you need to find something that you will do consistently yeah. and once may that be running walking rowing weightlifting whatever it is like just go to the gym doing curls doesn't matter. As long as you do it consistently, you will enjoy it, you will build on it, you'll make it a habit, yeah. and then you'll be successful. I really think it's the fountain of youth. Like, if you can move your body, it, I mean, look how great you look. And I think there's a lot of people, yeah, there's a lot of people whose age begin with a four, and they think, like, well, this is the beginning of the end now. And I'm like, I look at a guy like you, like, you look better than ever now. Thank you. Um, again, I try, and to me, it's that consistency, right? Um, get enough sleep, get enough rest, and then train. And that's always been my motto. And you don't have to be in the gym for two hours. I'm in the gym for about an hour, hour and a half. It just has to be how you use your time. Yeah. Like, I want to go in, do the best I can, and then leave and be done. But to me, gym is also, that's me time. That's kind of time where it's just me by myself. Um, kind of like my like meditation. Yeah. So to speak, it sounds weird, but it's just when you're on the road all the time, there's very few places where you just have to yourself, and the gym has always been one of them, and I feel that's very important for, for anybody to have that kind of me time, and for me to do it in the gym, it's just kind of what I've been doing, and it's brought me a lot of joy.